Okay, uh, we are we got the front landing gear. It actually mounts into the motor mount, so we're going to wait and put it on here when we mount the engine because I've got a drill and tap for that. So, um, okay, one thing we want to do here, and I did this in previous videos, but for you that haven't seen them, this is a great way to measure from your firewall to the thrust washer on your engine. Uh, this this plane calls for four and three quarters. We've built three of these sticks now, and every one of them were way nose heavy. We had to put the battery way back in the tail section. The good thing about this plane, there's no cowl, so you can slide the engine back. You don't have to measure and put it exactly where they say. So we're going to slide it back about a half an inch, and that'll help a little bit with the nose weight. And uh, hopefully we don't have to cut a hole in the belly and put the battery way back there. But this is just a piece of flat stock. Uh, it's about a quarter inch thick. Just drill a hole in the center of it. You put that on your engine. Uh, put your nut on it. Cinch it down just a little bit. You don't have to tighten it real tight. Just snug it up. Uh, you get a wrench here. A little crescent wrench works good. Alright, now we're going to put, well, let me just fit this in here. Try to get this squeezed together where it goes. This is an adjustable engine mount, so you can use it on different size engines. Right there is about where we want that. It fits pretty tight. So we're just going to put a couple of uh, bolts in it just to hold it on here so we can mark our engine to drill our holes. These are kind of kind of can drinkers to get started. They don't want to... It's a slotted groove so you can spread them out, but... Alright, we're not going to put any lock, uh, lock tight on it this time because we're going to remove these to put the motor mount in the drill press to drill the holes. So we're just going to put two bolts in it to hold it in place. So we can measure where the engine goes. Get it in here. Can tankers, little boogers, some of them. Hey, I think I no, haven't hit it. It's it's over. Um, find my little needle nose here. Well. There they are. I know they're here somewhere. Well, I'm having trouble hitting the, the hole on this one. There it goes. You don't have to get them just real tight, but you want to snug them down pretty good. Now, you set your engine in here, and that this board on the prop gives you something to measure to and get a very accurate measurement. So, I believe it said four and three quarter, but let me, let me double check here. Uh, 40 size. Four and three quarter. So, that being said, the engine is supposed to go way out here. But every one of these we built, it makes it way nose heavy. So, what I'm going to do is you got plenty of room back here for your hoses. We're going to scoot it back about an inch. We'll go back to Let's see. Hang on a minute. Yeah. We'll go back. Yeah, we can go back a half inch safely and still have room for our hoses and stuff to come out. But that helps a little bit. It gets that engine weight back. And this is a 55 too, so it's going to be a little heavier. I can actually go back to uh, four and a quarter. Alright. And that will... That'll give us room for our tubing to come out. Now, um, 
let's see. Let me get a clamp on this. Can yeah, if this will. Hang on a minute. Pull these tips off of here so I'll have room to get this in between there. Hopefully, I'll get the camera up here where you can see what I'm doing. Get my ugly mug out of it. I should, yeah, there's barely enough room. I can squeeze that right between them holes. I still have room to get my center locator in there. Okay, we will do one on the other side. Ah, doggone it. Knocked it off. Okay, I was trying to move my towel back. I'm getting it under. Alright, let me set that right there. Get another one of these clamps. We'll take the tips off. And we will put one on this side. And then I'm going to remeasure to make sure. I didn't knock it way off. Okay, that should hold that in place. Let me measure one more time. See what I got here. All right, we're at four and a quarter. It's supposed to be four and three quarter, but we're going to go since it's an open front end. We don't have a cow. We're going to scoot it back to four and a quarter to get away from some of this nose weight. And like I said, the last uh, three of them we built, we had to we had to cut a hole back here in the belly, put the battery all the way back here on the tail, and then we still had to add just a little bit of weight. So I'm hoping that this will uh, compensate on this one for that. Now watch, I'll get this one in here, and the dad gum thing will be way tail heavy. But if it is, I have plenty of room to redrill my holes in the motor mount and pull the engine back forward. It's not that big a deal. So, all right, this is a uh, Center hole locator by Great Plains. Uh, it's made to be a thumb drive, but it's really tough to get, well, you got to really push on it, get pressure to drill into that little nylon motor mount. So we have discovered that it works really well in a little rechargeable drill. So we will get it in here. Tighten her up. Okay, I'm going to support this from the bottom here. I don't want to push down on those, but you line that little nipple up in your hole, make sure it's straight. Give her a little shove. And there we go, got one hole. Straight. two hole. This thing is an awesome little tool. Well, when you put it in your drill press, you don't get your holes off where because when you thread these, if they're not just perfect, your bolts won't go in. Now, if you're going to wallow the holes out slightly larger and put the bolts all the way through with nuts and washers on the back, then you got a little bit of leeway, but not much. So let's just really make sure that your holes line up good. Okay, now, take the clamps off. Pull the engine off, and we got four pretty little pilot holes right there. Now I could drill these with a hand drill, but I don't know how straight I can get them. So I prefer to put them in a drill press, lay them on a flat block of wood, and that way I know they're perfectly straight because I'm gonna thread these for uh, 632 bolts to just screw thread right into this and I've never had one come loose uh, usually I'll use longer bolts and go ahead and put a lock nut on the back of them just just for safety uh, but uh, never never had one loosen up on me so that's what we're gonna do alright let me put this stuff up and we'll get out okay. now I'll take the motor mount back off I went ahead and took a chance I drilled these by hand I'll see how lucky I get I'm getting lazy. It's almost nine o'clock. Oh, it's nine twenty. <laughs> I didn't want to get my drill press out. I think I got them pretty straight. Okay. Now I don't have a handle for this, so I just use a pair of vice grips. Works pretty good. Clamp that in there. It's my tap, and just get her started straight. And tap my holes. 
all the way down all the way through I should say hopefully I've still got some engine bolts I think I still got some 632 but, uh, oh well if I don't I'm about done in tonight anyway uh, I wanted to finish this today I would have done it but like I said I had company show up unexpected and, which is okay uh, I had about a two hour break there two and a half hours had a good visit but, uh, if I don't get it done tonight I'll just finish it tomorrow night I just I'd like to fly it Tuesday the wind's supposed to be like five mile hour last Tuesday afternoon so I'm hoping to get it done by tomorrow night and to go test flight Tuesday my wife really been anxious to get this little plane going because it's such a baby to land and she wants to start learning how to land which I want her to start learning how to land I want to get her off that cord she flies great. All she needs to do is learn how to land one. And I've got two of my students off the box already. Mr. Bill, he's lagging around. We're going to kick him off one of these days. He can. He flies great. He is, He's landed twice. He did a beautiful job both times. And I've seen him land on a simulator, just unbelievable places. So he's just nervous. But uh, we've been giving him a hard time. And... We're fixing to get him get him going here and get him off the cord too before too long. Shoot, we told him the other day he's got like, I don't know, me and him have built at least nine planes for him and he's got I think 10 or 11 more sitting there in the boxes he wants to build. So, ain't like he's gonna miss one if he does crash it. So. I have had him on the buddy box for, uh, this is the second summer and uh, most of last summer and last fall and I've never had to take my finger off the button. So he's doing really well. He's a great guy, great cameraman. He's for what he's got to work with. I just got a little cheap Panasonic $200 camera, but he does a good job with it. I'd like to have a better one someday, but for now it does the trick. So, thank you, Bill, for all the videos you make for us. Feel like I'm cheating on him over here working on a plane without him. I uh, was supposed to go out of state today, and I decided not to. My wife went, so I decided to stay home and have a day to myself and build on the, on the big stick here. But, all right, now we can put this little sucker back on here. But, I wanted to surprise my wife when she comes. She's actually not coming home until tomorrow, but I knew I wasn't going to get done, so I sent her a picture of it a while ago. She thought it was pretty cool looking, so... She's anxious to fly it. Ah, oh, doggone it. Getting the dropsies. I'm going to go ahead and start these. They're hard to get through these little slotted holes. So I'm going to go ahead and get them started and then put Loctite on them from the back side. So I can hopefully line them up with my holes. My blind nuts. I like these motor mounts because they're adjustable, but they're just a pain to get the bolts in. So, uh oh, that's on call. Gotta go. Okay, got the bolts in here. Um, let's put some Loctite on them. See if we can get them all started straight here. First one. Lined up. Second one lined up. Third one. There we go. Got it in the hole. Now we can get the top one. There we go. Got it all. Now before I snug them down, I'll make sure this is the right width squeezed together. Uh, looks like it is. So, we'll take her on down.
Okay, my hands get kind of slippery, oily with these handles, so I like to put a paper towel around it where I can really cinch it down. Definitely don't want a motor falling off. I've never had one come loose yet, but I've heard of it happening. We all will go. gonna take my paint off gosh darn it okay there I think we got it it won't show up there anyway all right we're gonna put that up through there you want the spring to clear the bottom of your fuselage here but I want that up high enough to get that wheel collar on the top of that all right let's go ahead and there's a flat spot on your axle here up here to for this steering horn to tighten down to. That way it doesn't slip on you. Now, um, let me get the other one. The other set screw. And uh, put some Loctite on it. slack for your wheel to turn you don't want that to hit so we can actually go back to right there all right I'll get my towel we're going to really cinch these down like I said we don't want a, a wheel coming off in the flight bad things happen when you try to touch down all right there we go got that the engine up Okay, let's get some Loctite on there. Find which wrench I need. That's it. Let's see if we're lucky enough to hit these holes. I'm gonna have to scoot it just a little. Okay, well, done for the night. Um, all I gotta do is put the electronics in it and balance it. Uh, my black wing tips are recovered. Um, this has got the white with the black trim. I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and put some white strips along that black back there to kind of set it off a little bit. Um, got the engine all mounted, ready to go. So I got to hook up the linkage because I, I don't have the servos in it yet, but that's all I like. Is putting the servos in it, hooking the linkage up.